Ram Ram guys today we are going to take a look how to create this kind of effect for creating this kind of effect first we can do is we will take a font node and type a text according to our needs after that we poly extrude this and this will look like this after that now you can see we will remesh this out so we will take a remesh node and remesh this it will look like this after that what we can do is we will take a group node and select some points as you can see here after that what we can do is we will take a attribute triangle node and give this a temperature give this group a temperature so at temperature is equals to 1 for this group this will look like this now I want to spread the temperature from here to all over the particles so I will take a post pyro source spread node as you can see and I will visualize temperature and decrease the cooling rate a bit and increase the rate a bit and maximum neighbors to 40 now if I simulate this it will move like this as you can see which is quite interesting now after that what we can do is we will convert this temperature to a color of black and white so for that what we can do is we will take a color node so this is the color node we will take and turn on the temperature now as you can see the color if I visualize more yeah as you can see the color is moving like this yes we want like this which is quite interesting now what we can do is we will take a smooth node now as you can see the edges are so jagged we don't want this jag we want smooth fade in these edges so what we can do is we will take a smooth node and smooth out these edges just select attribute cd into here and strand to around 40 this will look like this smooth transition now it has smooth transition as you can see now after that what we can do is we will take a color node again and make this ramp like black white and then again dip down to black so now what we can do is in here it will create this source this is the emission source where we can emit particles so this is our emission source as you can see and it's moving like this and we select in attribute we will select color the color attribute that is coming from here created here we will set this color again and give this a wrap like this after that what we can do is we will take a velocity node and in the velocity node we will add some velocity to it as you can see and after that we will add some curl noise and animate to this this is the basic what we can do is if you can see the velocity it will look like this the velocity will look like this in this direction after that what we can do is we will take a scatter node and scatter on the basis of CD now in, as you can see the white area where the particles are there and black area there is no particles so what we can do is in the scatter node we will take a density attribute and give it to CD so it will emit from only it will create particle generate particles only on the white area as you can see after that what we can do is we will take a pop network with yeah we will take a pop network and go inside this pop network inside the pop network what we can do is we will take a source node and we have to emit particles till 228 frame so I will do constant activation is less than 228 frames and give the constant birth to around 20,000 particles and after that what we can do is we will select points from here because we have to emit from points previously it's from surface in onto surface scatter onto surface but we don't want this we have to select points 
after that what we can do is we will take a drag load and hook, uh, increase the air resistance by 3 and we will take uh, again a force node and give a little amplitude to the force, to the force. now after that we all this setup this is our pop solver that we used and this is our pop object we have nothing to change in this after that what we can do is we will just simulate this the simulation is quite fast as you can see now the main problem here is like here you can see it will come smoothly but if I change this value positive to none then you will see weird artifacts like this jet lights we don't want this for that what we can do is we will take this and the positive value and now it will look like this as you can see our simulation is done and it will look like this which is quite interesting now what we can do is we will take an attribute wangal node and give a random p-scale like we will give p scale ramp on the basis of n h and multiply it with random id so it will give random p scale now what we can do is we will take attributes randomize node and give it orient attribute and dimensions to around 4 and we will take one grid right over here as you can see poly extrude this out a little bit and i copy this to our points it will look like this as you can see now what we can do is we will take go up right over here now as you can see we will create this color kind of thing now what we can do is we only want this area and we don't want this area so we'll blast this out on the basis of cd if cd is less than one then it will be deleted now we we'll left over with this this kind of things only now we take now as you can see there are a lot of points revolving around here so we will add clean node to clean this out as you can see after that what we can do is we will take color node and give it white color simple constant and merge with merge together with the upcoming input now it will look like this nice kind of effect thanks for watching this video i hope you like this video kindly like share and subscribe this video i hope you like this and be creative ram ram